हेलो एवरीवन सत श्रीकाल वेलकम टू द माय चैनल माय नेम इज रवि टुडे वी आर हियर फॉर अनदर इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन ऑन एडियप साइड एडियप मींस एजुकेटेड डेटा फैक्ट्री साइड सो टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट हाउ वी कैन रिमूव डुप्लीकेट रिकॉर्ड इन एजुकेटेड डेटा फैक्ट्री okay so this is a quite simple question just like in sql what we have to do we know how to delete duplicate values same way uh, we have to remove duplicate data based on some columns or one column or multiple columns we have to achieve it so this is our to today's topic so i am seeing a lot of love coming from your on my youtube channel people are interested on adf question querying uh, database side and power bi side so going forward we are going to cover three section on our channel one is for sql what question ask if you face any question from adf side sql side or power bi side you can reach me on the comment box i'll try to answer the question as much as possible with the practical sessions okay so uh, uh, please uh, spread the videos whoever going to attend the adf questions and please share like and subscribe my channel okay so let's be begin today's agenda first of all today's agenda is how to remove duplicate record in azure data factory tables okay so uh, to begin with let me give you the uh, data structure what we are we data we have and how we do lead it how we are going to achieve it okay so let me give you one example about a uh, notepad we have a data right let me open the notepad what we data we have so you can see i have three columns id first name and last name in id id one is ravi shukla please make sure i have a uh, camel notation means first character is my uh, is capital and uh, other part is small second is raj and choudhury third is julia said fourth is ravi shukla and fifth is ravi shukla so keep in mind we have fourth and fifth we have small and capital r okay so please keep in mind what data set i have so i have stored my data sent into my blob location okay so we have created one folder called duplicate input you can see there is my container in the blob and the file name is uh, source one underscore data preview okay so let me open the file structure what we have stored actual so in notepad what i shown you right we have three columns id first name and last name i store same in here okay for the safer side i am showing you the report here what the data we have okay is a csv format file i have am having so now let me go to directly jump into adf okay so you already know how we create a pipelines we have to click on three pins right three to players create a new pipeline you can give any name okay so i'll give a name to remove duplicate data okay simple name there is no confusion okay so uh, this is simple task to delete the duplicate okay so do you know in sql how we achieve it okay let me show you how we achieve it as well so assume that we have stored the data in new art into our server sql server so what you will write you will write select uh, first first um, i will take a first name okay i will take a last name and i will take a count okay what count i have okay uh, in from what we have to do we have do a table name take is a might be a customer name customer table okay customer table and what we have to do we have to do group by correct group by based on two column first name and last name first name comma last name perfect so this sql query give me the output of on three columns first first name last name and count okay so this is a sql statement you will write on sql side but in adf side you will see in sooner okay if please keep watching how we do that so this is my data in uh, architecture post right we have to architect okay we have to do the some small small changes on that so we have to do use data flow so in architecture process what we have to do we have to architect based on data okay so in data flow what we do first we have to point our source okay, correct so let me go inside the data flow okay so in data flow what what is my source okay so my source is what so tell me my source is 
blob correct i showed you right the file right in the inside the blob we have input a dupl duplicate input folder and inside the folder we have a file name source one data preview correct so let me uh, point it out let me get new so this is my blob so i have csv file so i will uh, take as a delimiter file i'll take a source and let me point out the folder so inside duplicate uh, input i need to collect the file as i have i have only one file so i know how to do that and uh, in my first row we have had a right name first name and last name so we can keep it like that and give okay so let me do the data preview okay so we'll see actually later do i do my data look like same what we assume means the delimiter wise perfect or not so we have to cross check on that so keep in mind uh, once you choose the file you just given header as a row right first row is a header correct so do you know what is my delimiter so in this case you can see what delimiter we have choose let me open that in source setting let me open the source connection open it so you can see what limiter we have done we have used a comma limiter okay so we have everything on the place so why how how do i know i just preview the data i have three columns id first name and last name okay so now uh, in the sql let me go back to sql you can see we have to put first name last name based on you what color we wanted so i wanted same way okay let me close the session Okay. So here, uh, let me do the same here, same thing. So what operation we have to use? We have to use aggregation. Okay. In aggregation, we have to do on what color we wanted. We want first name and last name. Let me choose it. Okay. Let me re re preview it. Something went wrong here. Uh, see the error. Okay, connection gone, right? Let me reconnect it. Let me choose it. Open connection. Do I am pointing the same same output here? So let me see in the data flow. Let me preview data. So if my data is correct, so I'm not skipping any of the part. So you understand what a data uh, and error comes up, how to fix it. So you can see I'm getting errors. So what is simple side here? So we can directly create a new session, new connection on CSV. Okay. And link service already created and give the file path. So if I, some, some channel, do the skip part so they can give accurate data but i am giving the what error i am getting how to fix it okay so you i just pointed again the same source let me see what i'm data i'm getting right now okay let me do preview let me refresh it so because of that i i am covering all the errors so i am getting all the uh, fix uh, how we fix it and this video might be get five minutes of two minutes more so please bear with me you can see i have id first name and last name okay let me go to aggregation part in aggregation on top of that i need to based on first name let me see so in first name okay i need one more column right i have choose two columns to be displayed just like SQL I'm trying to achieve. Okay. So in first name, last name and what aggregation I want based on two column, what I want, I want aggregation. Okay. So I will take a random column called count. Let me make it small. It doesn't matter, but uh, I'm preferring to use a proper pattern. So what count will do count will count it. Okay. So I got first in select state. I got a first name and last name and aggregation based on count, right? So based on two column, we get output. Let me see, do we get the correct output here? So what output we'll get? We get a first name and last name and the count off on that, right? So just, just wait for some time to get the data refreshed. So you can see I have three names, right? Ravi, Shukla, all com camel notation, and we also get Ravi, Shukla, R is more, right? So please make sure in Azure, 
we it's work as a uh, what we say uh, it work as a uh, proper naming convention okay so it it is not a case sensitive i mean in cases to part if it's a case sensitive it will capture the smaller v as well right count will be three so it in that case that's why i take a, this use case as well so you keep in mind you should always remember azure should is following case sensitive pattern okay so i hope this point is clear so what is next so i need to split those file right means it is a duplicate then create a new different file for duplicate and unique value it come into du uh, duplicate of uh, means uh, unique files okay let me do is conditional split so in split what i wanted to do okay i wanted to do uh, duplicate division and i want a distinct means suppose what duplicate how we count it if count value is greater than one means you understand right so in first row we getting duplicate values more than two right so this this file duplicate this duplicate file go to this uh, split condition and distinct one go to distinct one okay let me see why it's error coming up space are there okay so yeah space won't count please make sure is please don't give space okay so everything set here so what next we have to load the file so for the loading the file you have to use sync okay let me do the sync 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 is quite simple i what i want i will do uh, in pushing this so i will do new create a new session i will take a blob and what i want i want to put csv file on which location on output location okay i have to define the path okay so i have output folder okay let me give the out do we have out folder in the container let me open that in output folder do we have anything here is blank okay so that's why i make a blank okay so what is which file it has to come i know this is a duplicate data for first one so i have to go to setting okay i need to do i need to create a single file okay and file name would be duplicate make, make sense we have duplicate data here it go to duplicate sync okay i need to create one more sync here in sync what i do i will take a distinct file here okay so let me create a distinct folder first it go to blob and it store same csv file and I have to choose particular blob location and the same output location for my output. So both output come to this folder location and it will give you the output a duplicate and uh, might be you give, give unique. Okay, let me give the name on setting part. I need a one file, okay? If you don't choose any particular section, it, what it will do, it will give a lot of temporary files to you, okay? So let me give name is called unique. Okay, makes sense okay uh, let me try to run the pipeline let me see if any error comes up you can see and we can try to solve it okay we have to you can see it it one error came up right while to have we have to set single partition because we are getting one file right so it giving it throwing error how many parties you wanted so let me try to debug validate first it validated without no error let me debug it uh, it started running Please wait for some time. So, uh, meantime, it's running. Let me cover all scenario what we have. We have created one pipeline. Okay. Pipe in pipeline, we have used one data flow. Inside data flow, we have set the source CSV file here. We have duplicate data for Ravi Sukla and Azure is case sensitive to please make sure what data you have. Based on that, you have to choose the file. And we have used the case function. What aggregate will do? It will work as same like SQL. We have to choose two column, first name and last name, and we want to count off it. So in aggregate property, we have to set it out, first name and last name, and count. Okay, in aggregation tab, and we have once we got the aggregation based on my first name and last name, we have to split those data based on file wise. Okay, so what do you mean by that splitting means if it is a duplicate value then create a duplicate file if it is a unique value then we have getting new file on the same location okay so i hope you get my point let me see what the latest update on my file uh, let me do refresh 
so it's running let me refresh uh, do we got the file any any of the file uh, is creating okay you can see the random number comes up so it is is creating so uh, meantime is done let me discuss about uh, what we have in this channel so in this channel i am getting multiple comment to work on my uh, my communication skill i am getting a lot of questions so i know i am new to youtube i have less confidence to face a camera so i am still continuously growing on that so if you be with me bear with me i am getting giving good content with your support you can give me the kind of question i will try to improve my communication skill i frame my uh, word and my a technical perspective with good example of cracking the interviews so i know if no one is perfect everyone is working on their own so i am trying to give my best i give the best solution for clearing the interview perspective because uh, you can work in real time very hard you can give multiple scenarios you work with more than me correct that could be possible so uh, if you have more skill so you can give your suggestion to how to improve where to improve i'll definitely work on that and this is a continuous process i build up create a videos i do editing so i'm new to youtube i take much time to edit as well so this is your love to inspire me to work harder and harder okay so please bear with me so let me refresh my status do we have any files because my pipeline didn't fail you can see this quite simple pipeline we created to remove that so multi many people what they will do they will crawl the stored procedures that could be possible so if your adf is capable to do that why go to sql sql is also preferable but if your system what you use if that have that that system have capabilities they have computation power why we go to sql so we try to less load to sql in here because adf is working in cache memory okay but they have vertiped engines so uh, that's why we use uh, everything here okay so let me refresh my data file do we get any single file yeah you can see we got a duplicate file if you open the file you get a one record because ravi in a camel notation you have a duplicate on that okay so you can see we got a duplicate with headers we got right so if you don't need a count might be chances right you don't need a duplicate value so how you do that so in the sync in the sync sync section i won't do that. i'll show you in six you can see the mapping part right you have to remove the mapping part and you can uncheck it you can delete it okay so once you delete it you will get just two name first name and last name based on duplicate data okay so i know this this is a very informative informative video if you elaborate this part to interview interviewers they will definitely understand you work real or uh, real time you're not a fake person so that is your uh, end goal to achieve to clear the interview okay yeah so uh, let me refresh one more time you might get the file for duplicate let me see yeah you can see two files comes up and your pipeline should successful now let me go and refresh it yeah you can see pipeline got successful so um, thank you for watching azure interview question series uh, please watch all my playlists you will get definitely get best idea to present yourself in front of interviewer so today's we are ending the session thank you thank you so much